Well, hey everybody, welcome to this video. I'm very excited about doing this one. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Today we're going to be talking about RC airplane components and the electronics and everything that goes on with that and what you will need if you want to build an RC airplane uh, from scratch. We're going to talk about the components individually and we're going to talk about some terminology that's probably going to pop up um, along the way and we're also going to talk about how everything works together. So let's get going. Okay, I feel like the easiest way to explain this um, is to first talk about what we actually need to happen um, for an airplane to fly. So here is uh, the, the fuselage of the bat of, of uh, this airplane that I've designed. The wings are uh, somewhere else. But so anyway, we can see in here we have two servos, which um, that's all you're gonna need for a basic airplane that's uh, three channel. We'll talk about that in a second, what that means. Um, but you're gonna need a servo to control your elevator to make it go up and down, and a servo to control your rudder to make it go left and right. And you can see these servos in here move when I move the control surfaces like so, okay? And they connect to our receiver with these connections here. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. So we need to make the control surfaces move and we need to make the what would be the motor right here. We need to make the motor spin uh, so that it can go forward and produce uh, thrust. So in order to do that, um, and then we also, and we need to control all of that with our transmitter here. So we need to get our stick inputs on here, these sticks here, we need to get that so that they talk to the controller, I mean, excuse me, they talk to the airplane and make it do what we want it to do. That's the basic premise of it. I know, it sounds pretty simple, you probably knew that. All right, so to start out here, let's first just go over everything that you, we see here on the, ta on the table here. So we have our battery that provides our electrical power, obviously. Uh, we have our ESC, or electronic speed control, we have our motor here. This uh, this large box structure is just for, um, this is just like the mounting pod that I have it in, but this black piece right here is the actual motor itself. And then of course we have our propeller that, that uh, is screwed down or, or bolted down onto the motor. And then coming off of the ESC here, we have our um, receiver. And this is the guy that talks to our transmitter which we're going to talk about in a second. So this is our receiver, and then coming off of the receiver, we have servos. Here I just have two servos to show you, but um, depending on what kind of receiver you have, you could have any number of servos, uh, but generally anywhere from two to four servos um, is just pretty much going to be your, your basic uh, servo setup. I generally run two, um, like if I have a uh, what's called a three-channel airplane, like this guy, so I have rudder and I have elevator, um, and that's it. And, and, and as far as the, the control surfaces, I've made several airplanes just using these components. And um, so that's what's great about this, because you buy these and then you can reuse them. So uh, talking about each component, what they do, we have the battery. It obviously provides the electrical power. This happens to be a two cell. I'm not gonna get into a, a ton of in-depth stuff because you could have a video on each individual thing. Maybe we will if there's demand, I don't know. Okay, so we have the battery. The battery goes over here to the ESC. What the ESC does basically in basic terms, it is a kind of like a valve uh, that regulates how, how um, much power goes to the motor. So you can kind of imagine if we didn't have this valve here, kind of like if you didn't have a, a valve on your faucet at home, you would just have electrical current, or in the case of a faucet, water, just you know going straight from the battery to the motor, and it wouldn't be good. So we want to be able to control how much power we're giving the motor, and that's what the ESC is for. Now, um, this ESC has what's called a BEC, which is in uh, a battery eliminator circuit. But don't worry about that too much, but just know if you are looking for one, um, you know, you, you're gonna want one with a BEC, for this setup. Coming off of the ESC is our motor right here. This, uh, all this stuff right here, this box is just like the motor mount that goes in, in the airplane that I built, but this black piece here is actually the motor. And this is what's called an outrunner motor because it, uh, the outside part of the motor is what spins, okay? And then we have the propeller here, which uh, this little nut comes off of what's called the shaft. Of the of the motor, and then it just fits on there, and it gets uh, bolted down. 
and uh, <clears throat> and then you, with these uh, motors, you can actually reverse the direction depending on like what kind of prop you're using and different stuff. If you want to, you can just swap these um, connectors here and change the rotation of the motor. So that the motor part is pretty simple. What what gets a little bit more complicated, but not too complicated, is uh, running off of the ESC here is a cable, and it goes to our receiver. Now the receiver, okay, the receiver is pretty much kind of the most important part because the receiver is what receives our inputs from our transmitter. Let me zoom out here for a second and talk about the transmitter for just one second. So here I have a transmitter. This is a Spectrum DX6i. Pretty uh, common, pretty decent transmitter. Great first transmitter, it works fine. You can have a bunch of different like models and stuff. You can do a bunch of different things with it. So that's great. So this guy right here, basically, um, all you need to know right now is it needs to be the same brand as the receiver. A lot of times you can buy these in bundles. Um, I, mean, I mean, you can buy the receiver with the transmitter, but so like if you get a Spectrum receiver, or a spectrum transmitter, just get a spectrum receiver and you'll be fine. With this cable here that comes off of the ESC, this is this runs down here and it goes to the receiver. Now what this does is it, let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. It, uh, this goes for this particular receiver. It goes in here to the throttle uh, port. It just has these little, these little pins here, these three little pins, and it goes into the throttle port right there. Um, and then all of these other guys are um, where you would hook up your servos and whatnot. So this is a good part right here to talk about the, the receiver a little bit and terminology. You might hear people talking about channel or channels like, oh, it's a three channel airplane or a four channel airplane or et cetera, et cetera. Each one of these little ports is considered a channel. So that's kind of, if you say, if, if something is a six channel receiver, it will have six um, ports like this little guy. Um, so except so this little port right here, just for future reference, it says uh, bat or yeah, it says bat. Honestly, I don't know why it says bat, but this is where you would bind it. And binding, okay, is when is basically when you introduce your receiver to your transmitter and vice versa. So what's this is called a little bind plug. Look, it even says it right on there, bind plug. And you insert the little bind plug. All it is is a little jumper cable that's jumping the top pin and the bottom pin. Anyway, you stick that in there, and then you do you know a little magic or you know follow the instructions with your transmitter. You get you know stuff will beep, and then basically it says like, oh, hi receiver, nice to meet you. I'm the Spectrum transmitter, and it says, oh okay, I'm you know, the spectrum receiver. So it's really not that complicated. You're basically just basically getting a lock and having them talk to each other. It's now, in order, you know, to get our control surfaces like our rudder or an elevator to do anything, we need servos. And servos, I like to think of servos as like little muscles that move the uh, the, the control surfaces. And really, they're just little motors. Um, and they have what are called arms, these little guys. These are the little servo arms. And you hook up the control linkage um, or the control rod to the servo arms like this, kind of like this. I use guitar strings. You don't normally use guitar strings, but you can see there it uh, kind of clamps down that little doohickey and then it will move it back and forth when you provide it power. And the way that you provide it power and you talk to it and you control it is with the receiver. So you have the receiver here and you can plug in these servos to the receiver and the servos. So, th so this way you can uh, use the receiver. The receiver, you can think of the receiver, and eh, it's kind of like the brains of the airplane. And uh, from here, the receiver sends signals to, to, through these different uh, servos. And you could have different servos, like for uh, rudder, gear, and aux one, which is just kind of like general purpose. And, um, and it will cause these servos to uh, work. Let me give you a live demonstration here of all of the different components and what they do. So we'll take our battery here and we're going to connect it to our ESC or electronic speed control. And I'm going to turn on my radio. And then it beeps. And it's saying, hey, I can hear you. I can respond. So now our inputs will do something on here. So here we have the motor. Notice I took the prop off for safety. Here we have the uh, elevator. When I pull back, it goes up. When I push forward, it goes down. 
like so. And the rudder. Left is left, right is right. Just like that. And from the inside view here, you can see that's right there is my elevator servo. It's moving the elevator, and right there is my rudder servo. And that's moving the rudder. Okay, and then right here we have our uh, receiver, and kind of tucked down in here, we have our ESC, or electronic speed control, and then of course our motor here at the front. And that's it. So that's basically all it is. And you just, you, you plug your servos in. Again, you know, this is not super in-depth. There are little things like for setting up servos, there's stuff that goes into that, you know, for binding. There's a process for binding the receiver to the transmitter. There's a process um, for, you know, making the, hooking up the motor and making sure that it spins the right way and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we'll go into that perhaps in other videos or there are other fantastic videos like Flight Test has other videos out there. I just want I just wanted to put this out here so that uh, you would get a better understanding, a very clear understanding of kind of what these components do and, um, and how they're hooked up together and kind of what they look like. And please, if you have any questions or you're building one, you know, yourself and you're wondering, you know, what does this thing do or what is that or how do I hook this up? Please ask me. I would love to help you. I don't know if I have the answer for you, but I would love to pretend that I do and try to answer it for you. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and all that stuff. Um, and I'll see you on the next videos.